The uh, early fathers that came, you know, the missionaries that came, they didn't have much money. But they saw a vision and said, okay, we need this plot of land. And they saw the future with visions. It changes with time. And we got to today, sit down and look at, okay, what is the future going to be? The Catholic Hub was started simply because there are many offices in our church. There are many organizations that require place to hold retreats, seminars and conferences. But we don't really have a place that is big enough to accommodate all these offices. We all realize this is uh, the largest freehold land that the church owns in Singapore. The church uh, owns uh, many properties, but many of these properties are on leasehold land. Some of the organizations are using buildings that are aging. Before we know it, there has to be major renovation costs. For a mission to be effective, it is very important that we need to work together as one. Communion in mission. We all have different roles in the mission of the church. And it's important that we collaborate, we synergize, and we empower each other. One of our greatest inspiration for this project is found in the Bible from Isaiah 49. We are like islands out in the coastland and the call is for us to all come together and to unite. So as architects, how do we infuse some of these really practical needs with a space that is beautiful, loving, kind, caring and allows trust to develop between people. So it was important for us to hear the hearts of everyone because there are multiple ministries that are actually coming into this space. It also gave us an insight on the mission and the vision of each individual ministry and how we can actually work together to provide a space and it's one space shared by so many. We have designed this to be constructed in several phases. Phase one will be the biggest component. We will have a multi-purpose hall that will be able to house 2,000 people or it can be broken up into four parts of 500 each. On the lowest floor, we have designed the 14 stations. The Divine Mercy Courtyard the floor above, this becomes like our working level where all the ministry and offices will be located. So on the level where the offices are is also the perpetual adoration room. And if you like, you can go up one floor and you can say a rosary as well. On top of this co-working floor, we have created a special garden. And this garden is dedicated to our baby. Surrounding this garden would be the retreat rooms. This building of the Catholic Hub is more than just about a building. It is about our desire to provide the structures to continue to give faith. It is about us renewing our church. The pastoral vision and the work of evangelization that needs to happen there will be more crucial than having a building. But we want to have the building so that that will not be the limiting factor for the world of the gospel. We have never had a common facility that all the different groups can intermingle, can share their experiences, where you have a youth having some activity with a OYP at the meeting room, and then just a few doors away, the parents are involved in the Catholic Spirituality Center activity. I think to be able to bring together the key tenets whether it's a CSC, OIP, as well as one. The vibrancy that that will actually create, the different programs that actually it can offer. And also to be able to bring an entire family to center the activities, whether it's an evening or the weekend, etc., to encounter the Lord, to be continuously formed. And we hope also that the Catholic Hub will not just be a place where we have activities, we intend to build a retirement home for our elderly priest. When a priest retires, he has been with his people, he has been with his parishioners, and then when he retires, you take him out and put him in a place. 
all by himself. The chances of him going downhill, physically, mentally, emotionally, it's going to be quite great. So being in the Catholic hub, the center of the diocese, a center of activities, this priest will be visited by others. I think we all want to belong to something more than just ourselves in our lives. That we don't envision one thing to just be on our own. We want to belong to something. But why should our names be known in that legacy? For there is only one name through which we are all saved, and that's the name of Jesus. We may not be involved directly. The final plan may not be in our lifetime, but we are part of a bigger story. We are part of a bigger plan that God has for many generations down the road. We build for tomorrow. A tomorrow that we do not understand now, but we catch a glimpse of. I say, looks like a star there. Looks like a spark that is there. And then we build towards it. So for those of you who are thinking why we should support, actually it's for only for one reason. It's for the mission of the church. For effective mission in communion. This is where we really urge Catholics, those of you who have resources, to contribute to the building of this Catholic Club. For the future of our church in Singapore, for the future humanity of our society. Your support will go a long way towards making the Catholic Hub a reality. Let us build the church today for tomorrow and ignite our faith so as to grow the church for generations to come. Scan this QR code now to contribute to the Catholic Hub Restricted Fund. catholicfoundation.sg hub